So I was originally planning to uh, cover uh, Axler's linear algebra done right after I finished uh, Friedberg and Selspens. And I didn't care about which edition. I knew the fourth edition was out. Uh, and uh, I already had the third edition. I featured this book many times in various videos. But boy, for $30 from Amazon, and I'm a prime customer, so I get it the next day free. For $30, I can get the fourth edition. And uh, so I'm going to show the fourth edition and then make a little comparison between the two. Not too long. Uh, I think, yeah, I hope, I hope uh, anybody who's interested in linear algebra and has the availability to get this book from Amazon uh, considers it. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but uh, nothing that I do ever will be, I, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, this is a great book. So I want to go through the table of contents briefly. Uh, so there's uh, vector spaces, which is your standard fare for a theoretical, for a proof space, linear algebra book. For anybody who's never heard of this book, uh, this book is not, not supposed to be your first linear algebra book because it assumes you know a lot of linear algebra. It just jumps right in on the deep end of the pool. Vector spaces, finite dimensional vectors, uh, uh, vector spaces with span, linear independence, bases, dimension. Then your transformations, your linear maps, going down to uh, invertibility and isomorphisms. Um, products and, and quotients of vector spaces and duality, very important to me because this is kind of like uh, extra content in the Freeberg and Cell Spence. Uh, then a whole chapter on polynomials, then eigenvalues and eigenvectors, inner products faces uh, where you get into orthonormal and orthogonal, then operators on inner product uh, spaces, the spectral theorem, SVD, which used to be a smaller uh, subsection, now it's a full section. It's been upgraded. And then even more about SVD. That's This is great, great additions. Then complex vector spaces. And then the, the grand finale, something that I really look forward to studying, is multilinear algebra. So, and, you, and, and, I've, and I've, I think I've gone slowly enough where you can stop the video and read the table of contents yourself. But Professor Axler has made this, vi this book available on PDF on the internet. Uh, he's also got a great YouTube channel. And if you go look him up, he's got various links. You can email him. I mean, yeah, this is uh, Professor Axler has really got the best model for modern book publishing that I have seen. Of anybody and of course Springer has done an incredible job with this book I mean it beautifully illustrated uh, multicolor um, yeah the font is ever slightly smaller so even though the book is about 50 pages uh, longer than the previous edition it's actually when you factor in the font it's probably you're looking more like an 80 90 page difference I also noticed because I went through the sections and I checked uh, the problems that the problems, number one, it looks like the content has been completely uh, redone. It's not like, oh, I'm going to add a little section there and call it quits and leave everything else intact. The book has actually, I would use the word rethought from, the, from what I've read so far. And the problems are not identical. Like if you compare problem for problem, uh, Professor Axler has maybe put in like a new problem in the middle and then even took out some problems. I noticed that there's some problems in the third edition that are not in the fourth edition, which is I find very good uh, because then if I get into a stamp collecting mode for problems, maybe I'll attempt problems that are in third edition, not in fourth. I'm not sure if I'll have the time to do that, but there, there's always a stamp collecting angle that I'll find on anything or a collecting angle. So I'm going to page briefly through the book uh, and then get into a comparison, but I want you all to get a feel for, uh, I don't know, I think the words that I would say is how good this book is. I mean, what else can you say? For th and, and it's for $30, and if you're in the U.S. and you have Prime, you get it the next day. I mean, you, I don't think you can beat that. I wish this model and uh, pro other professors did what Professor Axler did in this book. I mean, and the same, I say the same thing about Anton for how comprehensive it is. Uh, that is something that I think Anton Scott on this book, but Anton's uh, focus is very different. It's really for beginners, and it, it truly is. Anton is truly a first linear algebra book, where I don't believe this book is. But yeah, more problems than the previous edition, 
And technically, as I said, if you go back and you do the delta for some of these problems, you will always find one or two problems that were taken out uh, from the previous edition. So it's actually more altogether if you have both. Um, yeah. So I think I'm done paging through this. Let me let me let's just look at the back map uh, of the book <clears throat> briefly, and then go into a comparison with the third edition. A brief one. I'm not gonna belabor the point because, of course, both of these books you can access on the internet, and you can take your time also and do your own comparison, which I recommend. So the book does not have answers in the back. That's just a normal thing for this type of book. Uh, it's usually in the math majors, and uh, there's a little less uh, spoon feeding for math majors than there is for poor people like myself who are not math majors. So it's got a nice symbol index, a nice index. Um, don't see a list of references, but I don't think that really matters uh, for this type of book. So let's head on to uh, look at the differences between three and four very briefly. So off the bat, of course, is the number of pages. Uh, even though I'm, you can't really tell that well just by looking at the spine, if you go to the very last page that this book has in the third edition, you're going to page 331, yeah, 331, 331, and then in this book you're going to, hope that came out, 331, you're going to 382. So that's 51 pages, but I think it's more, if you look at the font, let's, let's find a page with a lot of font and not too many graphs. Can you tell? Can you tell the difference? So fourth edition, smaller font. Let me even zoom in a little and not forget to zoom out. And yeah, not forget to zoom out again. Yeah, can you tell? The font is ever so slightly smaller on the fourth edition. Yeah, there you go. And so I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. Again, these books are available on the web. I recommend anybody interested to please look at Professor Axler's uh, wonderful content on YouTube. I'm looking forward to Professor Axler putting out videos for fourth edition. Although, as you guys have seen, and girls, uh, I rarely uh, watch videos. I'll watch a couple of videos, but I usually just like to crank through a book.